Hi, I am- Whoa! Thought we got rid of this thing. That's better. Oh, wait, we could do the uh, Henry Cavill punch. What was it? Or... Hi, I am Mickey Clements, and I used to make stuff like this. So in my beard regrow tutorial, I decided I really didn't like having all this background showing. So I decided to just put up some new mounting points and move my background further up so it would fill up the entire shot. So I can easily just unhook it and move it up further. But since I'm sitting at my desk, the camera has to be much lower and so does the backdrop. So to hang it, I actually just grab some bungee cords. Now that hangs it at the right height. That works just fine, but obviously it's not very stable and pretty easily disturbed. Now I could hang it with a rope or a chain, which would certainly be more stable than bungee, but I think I'd like to go with something completely rigid, so it's just actually on some sort of post. Now it's going to need to be removable, because I don't just want a post sticking down in the middle of the room and I'm not using it. So I could do something with wood and maybe some sort of French cleat or some sort of screw, but I think I'm just going to use PVC. Now very much inspired by my hanging PVC shelf, I could use my 90 L bracket to hang the PVC, only this time I could use a threaded 90, that way I can easily remove the PVC and still have a very secure connection. Now this 90 is actually threaded on both sides, so making my L bracket wouldn't be as easy as just gluing in a piece of PVC pipe in between these two. So I could use a plug and make my 90 like that, which might be okay, but since I already have this wood block here, I might as well just screw the plug on there, which would be very minimalistic and very simple, so let's go ahead and do that. Now it is on there pretty securely, but just to make sure that it doesn't come loose, since I am going to be screwing on and off this probably pretty frequently, I'm going to drill a small hole through the side. Basically fire in a locking screw, so this will prevent that from ever being able to turn. Now if you aren't a fan of this wood block, depending on what type of ceiling you have, you might not even need it. If you do have a drywall ceiling, you could try using a molly, an anchor for the drywall, and depending on how much weight you're going to be putting on this, that should probably work fine. If you're going directly into a stud or a truss, then you definitely wouldn't need this wood block. Or like I mentioned last time, you could try finding or making a plate like this. This is a big PVC circle with the PVC cap glued into the center with the PVC glue, which makes a pretty permanent bond. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe let it dry for longer than 10 minutes. I mean, it would have a screw through it as well. That certainly looks a lot nicer, but I don't know. The amount of effort it took to actually make this and how strong it is, you might just want to buy one. Maybe 3D printing? I don't know. I am fine with this solution. Stop the presses! So, okay, there are 90s that have one threaded side and then one standard side. I just happened to grab the one out of the bag that I grabbed the wrong one of, because, you know, guys are always just grabbing PVC and then throwing them back in whatever bin. So you go home and you think you have four of all the same, but then you realize, oh, hey, 
We suck at the hardware store. So I could, as I planned, make my L bracket. Just a simple L with PVC, two screws, and then having my thread. But I think I'll just stick with this because it's already done. So now I can just take a coupler, one side threaded, one side standard, screw it onto my plug, glue in my pipe, and I have a removable rigid mounting point for my screen. But I do have an idea to take this to the next level. So instead, I'm going to use a piece of three quarter thin walled with a coupler which will allow me to insert the half inch, drill some holes so that I can stick a pin, allowing this to be adjustable. So let's go ahead and do that. I have a self-centering dowel jig here. Now the name of this is a bit confusing, but it's meant to go over the edge of a board allowing you to drill a hole perfectly in the center of the edge. You can then stick a dowel in that hole, doing that on another board and then joining them together. But I'm going to use it to hopefully drill a hole perfectly in the center of our PVC. So far, so good. Now these are different bushings for different sized drill bits. This is the locking pin that I'm going to try and use and that's a quarter inch quarter inch drill bit for my drill and that is the quarter inch bushing I think all right let's give this a try look at that that worked pretty well let's see if our uh, a bit tight ream it out a bit Cool, look at that. All right, now I'm just going to put a bunch of adjustment points along this one. And to make things a bit easier, I'm going to use a larger drill bit. We'll go up to... So these don't have to be perfect, or in the, you know, exactly the same, but I'll just try and do it as best I can. So I'll line up my first hole with this hole and then drill the next one. Line up that hole and repeat. All right, the PVC flute. That's dreadful. I did mess up in the middle on my spacing, but as long as I do that same mess up on my second pipe, then everything should be level. All right, there we go. Very cool. Some PVC glue. Dog hair for added strength. Now for the other end, I could just glue on an end cap and then screw in my hook and then hang my screen from that. But instead, I'm going to use a coupler with a normal end glued on and then a threaded end, which allow me to screw in a threaded plug. And this way I can remove this and change it out if uh, my needs change or if I want to change something up. So I think that'll just give it a bit more versatility. At first I could only find these and I really didn't like the big bulky nut on here. And I could sand them down just to make it look a little bit better, but they do make these. Which, uh, which don't have that, and that fits my aesthetic a bit more. So I'm definitely just gonna use that. Glue. Screw that on. Pretty identical, cool. Cool. That can thread into there. All right, let's go. How cool is that? 
I think that came out really slick. The nice sturdy connection, fully adjustable and completely removable. I am really happy with that. I came out better than I could have expected. I really like the look. I think it's a really clean look for what it for what it's made of. Take my screen down. Hang it back up where it normally goes. Unscrew my post. That's it. These came out so cool. I am so pleased with them. They came out exactly as I wanted, if not better. The only thing I think I'll change, I think I'll put just a regular hook versus an eyelet on the end. That way I don't have an eyelet, then an S hook, and then an eyelet under the screen. And I'll just make things a bit easier. But other than that, these are perfect. I think this is a great iteration on my hanging PVC design. I think there's a whole bunch of use cases for something like this. Like I said, I made this end cap removable so I could swap it out for different types of caps. I could just have a quarter inch bolt in here and then mount something like a camera to it. So having a adjustable, removable ceiling mounted camera, I think it's going to come in very handy. You could use it for hanging lights. You could use it for hanging decorations, plants, anything that you want permanently or temporarily attached to your ceiling. I think this is a really, really cool design. So. My sincere thank you for watching. Once again, I am Nikki Clements. If you're wondering, make a short for Nicholas, and the D stands for devour. I'm hungry, I'm gonna go get some lunch. That hangs at the right height. Even though it's backwards.